Okay, so when you do something rewarding, dopamine, a chemical messenger in your brain gives you a natural high. Now, over time, your brain connects positive activities, people, and things with the resulting good feelings. With each fun experience, your brain learns, creating a ranking of what makes you feel good. Drugs and alcohol can make you feel good, but they don't reward you for doing much of anything. Instead, drugs create a dopamine superhighway to the reward center of your brain. No need for actions or accomplishments to create that warm glow. You just go directly to an artificial high. As you get used to that easy superhighway, drugs move up in your ranking of what makes you feel good. With repeated use, they make it to number one. You lose interest in the other things that make you feel good. If people or other activities get in the way, you ditch them. Your world grows smaller. Plus, if a situation is making you feel bad, if you're having problems at school or with your friends, you're tempted to just jump on that superhighway. But drugs and alcohol don't fix what's making you feel bad. By reducing your motivation to seek help and find natural ways to feel better, they make things worse. And with some drugs, you need stronger and stronger doses just to get the same good feeling. Your body gets used to the dopamine rush. You build up tolerance. You get so used to that artificially sweetened high that what used to feel like normal now feels like, ugh. Now you need drugs and alcohol just to get back to normal. You end up chasing an artificial high that's harder and harder to reach. The highs no longer feel as good. Your lows become lower. Meanwhile, two key areas of your brain are still developing. Your midbrain that loves dopamine, adventures, and emotions is more developed than the prefrontal cortex. The prefrontal cortex controls reasoning, planning, and chooses between risk and reward. That part of the brain is still developing, so it's like a car with a gas pedal to accelerate, but no brakes. Once you're speeding on that fake drug superhighway, it sure is hard to get off.